we take a look at our original sense of self made up of mind, heart, and actions. Gravity will pull us down into our body and we'll feel depressed and sad. So, for example, if I feel anxious or frustrated or upset or someone says to me, you're not good enough or I feel not good enough, the gravity will drag you down into your body and your body will feel lethargic, weak, heavy, broken, sad, depressed, and I will feel like I can't get out of bed. So it's an emotional pain which drags my body down. So for my emotional feeling of frustration, hurt, pain, anger, not feeling good about myself, it drags me down. Gravity pulls me down into my body and I feel I can't function. The technique is as follows. If you take a look at your wheel of strengths and you derive and come up with one sentence which will describe all of the best dimensions of your intellect, social skills, personality, your spirituality, contribution to family and personal growth. A sentence like, I am a creative, caring, leadership person. Or I could say, I am a sensitive, honest, and reliable person. Or I'm a compassionate, giving, resilient person. And I take the sum total, one sentence, as a summary, as a praise of these strengths and I place them here and I place them in my head. So I want you to draw a stick figure just like this with a head, a body, legs and arms. And in the head of the stick figure, write that summary. I am a giving, caring, resilient person. I am a compassionate, creative, consistent person. Write the strengths here. Over here, you write down the emotion that usually drags you down. It is, I'm not good enough. It drags me down into my body and I feel lethargic, weak, and can't get out of bed and don't believe in myself, feel broken. Draw an arrow from the heart, from those feelings of not good enough, down into the body. And on that arrow, write the word gravity. Gravity pulls me down into that state of incompetence. I can't work. I can't believe in myself. I don't believe in myself. That arrow then brings me down into gravity, into my body, and I feel broken and not worthy and not good enough. Now, the CBT response to that is, I take the arrow and I draw an arrow upward toward my head, toward my consciousness of my strength, which is I am a compassionate, giving, resilient person. When I draw that arrow upward and I go and access that reality of who I really am. I'm a compassionate, giving, resilient person. I am a creative, I'm a creative, sensitive, giving person. And then I, even though I feel negative about myself and gravity has pulled me down into my body, I can work hard by saying, is this true? Not true. Breathe in, go against gravity, go up here to your true self, and then live in that true self. And what I want you to do is I want you then to actualize, act upon that awareness of what you really are, what your strengths really are, and then every day put them into practice. And every day I want you to write down the actions you took of which you are proud. I'm, I'm proud of myself today because I acted with compassion. I went out of my way to visit someone in the hospital. I called my aunt who I have not spoken to in many years. I brought my wife an orange juice in bed. I called my kids and said, I believe in you, I love you. Act, do an act which actualizes your true self and then take steps therefore to act against I'm not good enough. You can begin to move from the gravity position to the anti-gravity position, but it takes effort. It takes work. It takes you believing in yourself by being you, being your true self and being your true valued self and your true competent self. Go against that inner, inner critic. Don't allow the inner critic to bully you anymore, but go against it. Go against the gravity which has pulled you down and then be the best you you can be.